Union High School was Sumner County's first and only school for African Americans. The school opened its doors in 1922 and after desegregation finally closed its doors in 1970. But now former students have found a way to honor this school through a museum. Here's News 2's Miranda Whittington with more. You don't know what that is. That's a 45. There was a time. But other schools didn't have that. When people like Joseph Malone couldn't go to the same school as his white counterparts. You didn't have a choice. This was a school. And, and, and nobody ever thought about thinking about going somewhere else. This was, this was it. In 1922, Union High School. This is our principal and his wife. Was the first and only school in Sumner County where black students could learn. I was the last class to graduate from this school in 1970. I was a part of that class. Memories of his father, who served as the school's principal, and his teachers are always on his mind. They pushed us to be more and more, even though we didn't have some of the resources that other schools had. The legacy of the African American in Sumner County is most worthy. So worthy, in fact, Velma Brinkley pushed for a museum to be created. We too have a long history here, and it is so worthy of being preserved, taught, and passed on. The Union High School Museum now lies inside the former school. This dress belonged to Julia Dobbins. Taking visitors back in time to learn about the school and the community that supported it. When the county refused the funds for what the school needed, the principal simply turned to the community and the community would always fulfill that need. Union High's doors might be closed. My second grade teacher and her two children. But its story is open and ready to be shared. We hope that people will get it and gravitate and it will motivate them to do other things to help other students in the community of what this school did for the students that graduated from here. Now, Brinkley tells me there's plans to renovate the former home economics department in the school so they can expand the museum out and make it interactive. A ribbon cutting for the new museum will be held tomorrow at the former school in Gallatin at 3 p.m., where people can stay and visit until 6.